everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to show you how I made this panda egg squishy so to start off with I took a car sponge and I just used a permanent marker to draw out an egg type shape what I then did was loosely cut this out and then I drew another egg on like the side of this shape if that makes any sense and I kind of just cut away all the excess pieces I then made sure to round off the top and the bottom to make it into a 3D egg like shape and I just basically smoothed it out until I was 100% happy. Now working with a car wash sponge is a bit trickier than usual memory foam or density foam as the sponge does get a bit like staticky so the little bits of yellow sponge stuff that you see on my scissors here kind of like stick to it and it gets all sorts of messy. So you just want to make sure to have like a rubbish bag on the side so that you can get rid of all the little bits otherwise they will just keep getting in your way and driving you insane. So I just basically yeah like I said made little tiny snips all over until I was happy with the smoothness of the shape. So once I was completely happy with the shape of the sponge, I then went ahead with some white puffy paint and I mixed in a little bit of white glue at this point and I just kind of spread this all over the egg. I did have a glove on my left hand to help like squidge it into the sponge and this helps to kind of do the first coat or two as you can really make the paint go a lot further. Once the whole thing was painted white, I then left this to dry and with some more sponge I then cut out some little ear shapes. I made two of these and I actually stuck these on with um, some puffy paint mixture that I had left over from making my hot crust bun the other day as I kept this in an airtight container and couldn't think what else I was going to use this colour for so I just stuck it on with that and made sure to coat the ears once with this colour. What I then did was went ahead and painted the rest of it in white with puffy paint all over again and I did two coats of this in total until the whole thing was an opaque white. So once the whole egg was completely painted white and dry, I then went ahead with some black puffy paint and a little paintbrush and just painted on all the details. I went ahead and painted over the ears in that weird colour that I used and I painted on all the eyes, the nose, all the little arms and stuff like that the same way as the original panda egg and yeah I basically just painted it on really. I kind of copied the picture and just went ahead and painted it on in the same design. Now if you don't want to use this um, as a reference you can also just paint on your own face your own design anything like that it really is just up to you on what design you use but as I was basing this on the panda egg original I just basically copied that design So once I had completely painted all the black design, I actually went in with some light pink um, tulip slick paint and just painted on some blush either side of the eyes as what's on the original squishy. Once 
Once all the painting was done, my squishy was then complete. So this squishy didn't actually turn out very slow rising and I think that was because of the car wash sponge itself. When I used this the other day for my hot crust bun, it did turn out fairly slow rising. I think that was more due to the size of it. So maybe car wash sponges are better for bigger squishies. Um, I'm really happy with how this turned out though. It is a really nice little egg shape and I just, I don't know. I was a little bit disappointed by the slow risingness of it as you can probably imagine but I just really like how it turned out anyway and I think it looks super cute anyway so yeah if you are going to use this DIY I would recommend using a memory foam or a density foam instead of the car wash sponge if you want something a bit more slow rising but if you want just a nice soft squishy then this way would work just fine so I hope you enjoyed this video Thank you very much for all the new people who have come over and subscribed to my channel. I'm so, so grateful to have you here and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!